Did anyone notice that Lucy and Quinn are together? Yes. Oh, yeah.
we're, uh, I think it's at the exterior for the roadhouse. And um, I was new to a lot of stuff. David basically gave me my big break. I had acted a few times before and, um, you know, it was on smaller stuff. And I was a huge fan. I was like just telling Charlotte one of the funniest moments was Charlotte's moment with the, like we saw last night, the thing with the bed. Yeah. And when I was a kid, I mean, I relate to Zoe because I was 15 years old and I'm watching, and I was real, you know, I was taking it real serious. It was like this dark movie with all this. I didn't know it was a comedy. And, <laughs> my, sister, you know, and my sister and I are sitting there, and Charlotte's, you know, we're watching it. And up until that point, my sister's kind of going, what's this about? And she's four years younger than me. But she was sitting through it, and she's, you know, real little kids. And she's doing her thing by the bed, her seizure thing, and it's going nuts and stuff. So, whatever. Anyway, we, and I died laughing, and ever since then, I was the biggest David Lynch fan. And I got to go audition for David, and that was, I couldn't believe that we hit it off, and I got it, because I just was happy to audition and meet him. And then I got to work. Anyway, cut to the chase, is that, um, up by the roadhouse we're shooting every day that we've been up here. That's why it's such a, it's a little, it's not hard being up here, but it's very, it can be very emotional, like Kimmy was saying a little bit, because it was very intense when we shot the pilot. And I, I mean, I still think the whole series should have been shot up here. But, um, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. And, um, so how it went was, I every day would wake up having to slap myself going, you're working with David, you know, um, yeah, and he's, he's really nice. He's very lovable and likable and it's like, it's, it's usually there's an ego or there's like you're scared. I was always nervous, I'm a nervous guy anyway, but I was always nervous, uh, you know, uh, and he made he put me at ease, you know, and that was really cool. But I'm walking along and, and by the roadhouse at night, it was so beautiful, it was like raining. I just got my like second lesson on the Harley or whatever because I had never ridden a street bike. <laughs> and we're um, we're like between stuff. They're lighting something inside the roadhouse, and <clears throat> he's like alone. I didn't even know it was David at first. There's nobody outside. The only reason you know it's David is because of his hat. And he's standing there in the middle of the parking lot, and it's drizzling. And all I saw like his his bill was like this, and he's like staring down. This is all I see is like a guy. At first, then I realized it was David. All I saw was this. And I was like, it was disturbing. I was like, hey, okay. And he was right by, I had to go to the bathroom. He was right by a trailer that had bathrooms in it. And I was like, and then I realized it was David. And I went, wow. And I didn't want to bother him. I didn't know what he was doing. And I knew he was into meditation, so I didn't know what was going on. I just like, you know. <laughs> so I walk around him to be respectful. And I'm going to the bathroom, and he goes, James, you know, and I come walking over, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, you know, what, yeah, cool, I get to have a conversation, he's always busy, you know, and, you know, we're going to hang out, I get to hang out with David Lynch, it's cool, okay, you know, I come walking over, I say, yeah, and he goes, that's so beautiful, <laughs> and, I go, and I go, what, and I was like, you know, and he says, just look at that, and so then, it, about three comedic moments happened in a row. It was like, I, visually, it was like there was this tall guy looking down, Bill like, like this on his hat, and it was like this greasy, oily puddle. So I'm getting, isn't this beautiful? And it is like this disgusting puddle. And he's like in bliss about it, and I'm like, oh, okay. So there was that one, and then I walk over, and he's like, there's this rainbow in it from the oil. So okay, maybe he's talking about the rainbow or something. And then all of a sudden I realized that there is, you know, like one, two, like uh, cigarette butts and then another cigarette butt over here and the bang bang saloon sign that the props department put up which is neon was reflecting in that and the the bullets were the cigarette butts that happened to be perfectly placed and the rest of it and I it took me a minute and he goes come here and then a part of me just went I can't believe he's including me in this freaking you know like going, you know, and what do you want with that? Cheese, okay, about two months ago. And now David's asking me my advice on a creative, you know, okay. So, and I'm like, uh, and, I, and I get close to him, and I'm like, oh my god, I see it. And he goes, should I shoot it? And I was like, yeah, I mean, that's gorgeous. And like, right. And then he walked away, and the crew got around, and he shot it, and I think, um, yeah, I forgot, Josh, of course, knows. It ended up somewhere in one of I'm sorry? Rock on, 
Christian. <laughs> so that's my cuddle story. You know, but at least a quarter of as interesting as these things you have just talked about. Um, well, there is there is something. It's something that this this brief story about um, when just before we started making the research. Head, um, David had my roommate was working at the American Film Institute, and she's the one that came home and said, "There's this filmmaker. His name is David. He's making this film, and he needs an actress to be in it." And I said, "Oh, okay. I used to do a lot of that, you know." Student film stuff, and you know, you don't do it for any money or anything. You just do it because it's, you know, it's fun and all that. So I said, okay. So she invited him over to our house, and he arrived with um, your mom and you and a sack of wheat seed. <laughs> and, yeah, true. I did live in the country. I lived in Topanga outside of Los Angeles. So I, I guess uh, David thought, uh, you know, wheat seed would be an appropriate house gift to come, you know, bring to me in the country. But anyway. So he gave me the script, um, which was about that thick, and I did not understand anything about it. Um, somebody was asking me, what is Eraserhead about? I said, oh, God, I never knew. You know? <laughs> I never did know. I just, you know, I'm an actress, but I just, um, I just follow what the director says. You know? I didn't understand anything about that suitcase scene. Not a clue. And he just said, keep pulling at that suitcase till I tell you to go. And so I did, and that's what, that's what happened. But, anyway. Um, uh, anyway, I'll get to this point. Um, he said there was a special scene he was going to shoot, um, and he needed to make a cast of, of my abdomen, because uh, there was a scene where Henry pushes on Mary's stomach and breaks through into a pit which has a bunch of fetuses in the bottom. And so he needed a special effect, and so I went over to their house, and you had some kind of back room, like a porch or something in the back, and he had this, I don't know if it was a table, I think it was a table that I laid on, and he painted me with moulage. You know what moulage is? So when you're doing a casting, it's this kind of rubber stuff that you, you paint on, and then you do the plaster of Paris on top of that, because it gets every little detail. Well, he did that, he did that from like, from like here to about here. And that was fine, you know, I went home, he calls me in a couple of days, he said, didn't work. I need more. I, it wasn't enough for your body. So, now, I did not know David at all. I had met him one, uh, twice now, once at your house, once at my house. I do not know him at all. So I go back to your house and lay down on the table again, and this time he paints me with moulage from here to here. <laughs> and every little... roommate, you know, and um, and so then I had to wait while, they, while the plaster of Paris dried. Now this time it's all the way around here, to here, from here, to there, to here, and I am stuck in this huge cast of plaster of Paris. Then we have to get it off. <laughs> A lot of hands were needed for this. <laughs> None of which were mine. <laughs> and they had to dig and push and pull and yeah, you can get it. You have the imagination. So um, I felt that David and I knew each other very well after that. <laughs> and it turns out that they didn't use it after all. <laughs> It turned out that the effect didn't work, but he still did the punching through, you know, they tried to make it work, but it didn't. So David gave me the cast. I still have it hanging in my bedroom. Yeah, a, a cast of my better body in better days. Which is kind of nostalgic, I like that. Anyway, um, that's how I got to know David Lynch.